A lot of people ask me, what is music supervision? When they find out that I'm a music supervisor and, and they, everyone thinks it's just about listening to music and choosing songs. And it is about listening to music and choosing songs, but there is a whole lot more to it. And I've been thinking about this a lot and I've come up with the three C's. So there's creativity, collaboration, and clearance. And we're gonna go over all those aspects in this class. So first of all, you have to have a passion for music. And you have to know a lot of different genres of music and know music from a lot of different eras. Um, say like hip hop's your thing and you're super expert at hip hop and you're working on this project and it's all about hip hop, but then it flashes back to 1950s. So now you're gonna need to research and be open-minded and curious about what you know, what kind of music would be in the 1950s in this specific scene. Or maybe the next scene is in France. So you now you're gonna be thinking, what is authentically going to be used in this scene taking place in France? And maybe it's a French hip hop song. Maybe it's something else. Maybe, you know, you use a classical piece of music and you, you know, cross pollinate two genres and do a classical hip hop piece. So it's very creative. There are several different mediums you can work in. So most people think about there's film, there's television, um, now there's web series, there's advertising and commercials, there's trailers, there's video games, uh, there's, you know, you can work on cruise ships. There's like different things going on in cruise ships where they hire music supervisors for theme parks. Um, podcasts recently, I was um, asked to help out to find um, someone's theme song for their podcast. So there's a lot of different areas you can work in. And then there's things, you know, that, that are emerging, emerging medias. So it's a really open field right now. Um, a lot of different areas you can work in. Um, and then when you're music supervising, you're working, you start at the very beginning of a project and that's called pre-production. I call it kind of script to mix. So there's pre-production where you're working in the script and coming up with all the on cameras. There's production where the actual project is shooting and filming. And then there's post-production, which was editing and getting all your paperwork and clearances in process. Um, and budgeting, you know, budgeting is a really huge part of music supervising. And you as a music supervisor will be overseeing everything that has to do with music and all the costs that have to do with music that's on camera bands performing, that's having songs written, that's doing budgets for recording studios. So, and you have to be really realistic about what your budget is and what, you know, you can, you know, provide to your producers in a realistic manner. Um, one of my favorite things is I get calls and emails and they'll be like, so, hey, Jennifer, how much is this Doja Cat song? And I'll be like, well, what's the scene? What's the timing? How is it going to be used? So they just think, oh, I'm just going to come up with a number, you know, and there's a lot to it. Um, and, you know, is that a five figure number or a six figure number? So um, a quick little tip here is I always reply is a guesstimate. I guesstimate what it's gonna cost because no one, there's no concrete number. A really important skill to have is collaborating. So you'll be collaborating with directors, producers, writers, um, studio executives, network executives. Sometimes it's production teams. Um, and this is where you're coming up with your musical vision, your tone, and your style. So this is like a big collaborating process. So it's a team oriented thing. I really love working with people um, and coming up with ideas and bouncing ideas off. And, and it's really um, exciting to see other people's ideas and incorporate your ideas and think outside the box and maybe bring up ideas they never would have thought of. So it's really creative and collaboration together. Um, you're also collaborating with bands and composers, you're helping hire composers, you're working with music editors, editors, um, sound departments, wardrobe, casting, music producers. Um, there's just so many different people you're working with. And um, to, to like, I was thinking of like an example of this is 
um, I was working on the TV show Workaholics and in the script the character Anders is a badass banjo player and so within a week I had to find a badass banjo player that was the same height and build as as Anders the actor who plays Anders and um, also licensed the piece of music that the the banjo player was playing and I had to deal with casting to make sure that all the paperwork was correct and I also had to deal with the wardrobe because we had to get the banjo player because we're only were showing his hands picking but we had to get him in the exact same wardrobe that Anders was in so it was a lot of organization to get that um, going within a week um, and someone be available on that day and that time negotiating is a super important skill to have or develop um, you're dealing with lawyers, business affairs departments, music talent agencies, managers, and business managers. Um, you're also dealing with clearances. So you're dealing with record labels and publishing companies. And you'll be negotiating clearances and getting quote requests. And we're going to learn about quote requests, sync and master licenses, confirmation letters, music cue sheets, and end title credits. So basically, there's a lot that goes into music supervision and every project is different. So you need to be flexible and be ready to pivot and just go with the flow and roll with the punches because everything things change on a dime. You might be working on a scene at two o'clock in the afternoon and you've been working all morning on it and you're about to turn it in and you get a call from edit and you find out that scene has been cut out. So if you're interested in music supervision, um, I look forward to taking this journey with you so we can discover what it takes to be a music supervisor. <laughs>